What's up guys, Nick Wisdom here with kind of a unusual plan I thought I would share with you all. Uh, so I got this raw 580 and I've had the kit and hadn't had a chance to touch it because I've been traveling nonstop for work. Uh, I think I'm home about three days, maybe four days in that entire time stretch from the beginning of February. So uh, I'm gonna build it in a hotel room. This particular build is gonna be called the Theta 580. I wanna thank my sponsors, Theta Servos. And how better to do that than uh, build a nice Theta themed heli. I'll probably check in a couple times from some uh, hotel rooms around the way as I get building. Uh, next up on this run is Vegas, Salt Lake City, and then Miami. So anyway, we'll see you all around all and uh, wish me luck with the build. Day one, getting started in the hotel room. Got a little table here all set up, ready to go. Let's see how far we get. What's up, guys? It's crazy early here in Las Vegas. Day two of my trip. It is. Uh, Currently five o'clock in the morning, um, so I end up getting up about four o'clock in the morning. I've been uh, working on the raw 580 for a little bit, um, done the uh, ESC motor mount plate, all that's prepped and ready and then tucked away. I'll keep that separate for shipping sake. Um, and uh, about to move on to uh, tail boom clamps and uh, basically finish the rest of the frame so it's 100% ready to go and waiting on uh, electronics install. So with that, let's, uh, let's get to work. All right, so let's wrap it up uh, here in Vegas. So we've got our ESC uh, tray here in motor mount. Uh, I don't have the motor with me, so I'll do that later and then slap that in. And then uh, the frame is now 100% complete. So we've got the FBL mount on there, the boom clamps are installed, the battery tray is installed, uh, and the mounts for that. So uh, it's good to go. Just waiting on uh, servos um, and electronics, and that's ready. Uh, I'm going to pack it up tonight after work. Tuesday, I head to Salt Lake City, and I'll uh, continue from there on the uh, main road ahead. See you. Salt Lake City. Only really got one build night in here, but uh, it was a productive one. So we got our uh, main head built here. Uh, we got the swash plate all done, put together. And we got all of our uh, various links. Got our servo links and our uh, main drive links all good to go. Uh, really all that's left to do at this point is uh, put the tail together. And then uh, thanks to uh, Team Theta Servo, uh, tomorrow I fly to Miami and uh, Ernie, a teammate on uh, the Theta team, is dropping a set of server horns off at my hotel before he flies out to uh, the, the uh, chill out. So uh, thanks Ernie for that in advance. I'll be installing the servos while I'm in Miami and then all I have left to build is uh, really the tank. Anyway, that's it from Salt Lake City. We'll catch up with you from Miami. All right, see you later Salt Lake City. Next up, Miami, Florida. What's up guys? Hello from Miami. Just got off the plane here at the airport and about to start uh, unpacking the case and get building. Uh, case came through with flying colors and uh, my hotel room is a little bit weird. Bedroom's up there. Yeah, who knew? Anyway, time to get building. Coming to 
you from uh, Miami and we're going to work on getting our servos installed in the raw. We're going to get our servo horns installed, but uh, if you didn't know it, in uh, a lot of the Feta servo line, whether they're minis or full sizes, uh, you can use contactless uh, payment type technology called NFC to tune your servos. So what I'm going to do today is use the adapter uh, piece here that comes with the servos to set the exact center point of the servo before I ever plug them into an FBL. So we're going to do that with the app. And it's as simple as taking the servo, bumping it to the back of the phone, and it takes a reading, and boom, there are all the tunable parts of my servo. And I'm gonna use this to write the new center point to the back of the servo. All right, so let's get cracking. All right, and just like that, uh, using the Theta Servo app, we have uh, installed and centered all of our servos, so they're all at the uh, length according to uh, the template that comes with the RAW 580. So we've got our three Cyclic servos installed, as well as our uh, Sabre uh, T1 tail servo that did require an adapter plate that I picked up at uh, Heli Direct. But uh, servos are now good to go. Off to keep this game after I pack this up. We're here in Key Biscayne, Florida, and uh, we're roughing it this week, uh, slumming it at the uh, Ritz-Carlton here in Key Biscayne, and uh, not bad digs, but uh, seems like a good spot as ever to build a heli, got the workbench set up, about to get started on the tail, and uh, how's this for a view for your workbench? Not bad, huh? here and uh, looks like we finished up the build just in time. So we've got our uh, motor mount assembly here all ready to go. We'll add the motor and ESC to that. We've got our tail assembly here all ready to go with the belt on it. We've just got the uh, fin separate waiting to uh, head home tomorrow and pick up the final pieces to attach to that for Mr. Rob Cherry. Uh, we've got our mainframe battery tray. We've got our head installed, all our links, servos are good to go. Uh, we're ready to just slot the tail boom right in there. Uh, this is all 100% ready to go. So really all we have uh, left, uh, we're gonna stop home uh, tomorrow, pick up some electronics, soldering iron, connectors, uh, the next batch of supplies to uh, help me finish out the kit on the road. And uh, we'll pick things up from, uh, where are we going next? Dallas, Texas. Uh, and uh, start finishing the build from there. So we'll see you in Texas. Whoa.